Hi, I'm Lena Mitchell with Sportsman's Warehouse, and I am a professional competitive shooter, and today I'm going to walk you through the fundamentals of pistol shooting. Now, you have to realize, first off, there is no one way to do anything, and there is no true right answer or right way. It's about what works best for you. So over my 10-year career, I've taken and listened to a lot of different ideas behind shooting and I've put them to the test and I found and modified and made something that works perfectly for me, my body, my style of shooting. And I'm going to show you what that is. First off, with any shooting before we even get to the gun, it all starts with our feet and our stance. Our stance is our connection to the ground and one of the most important parts to being stable when you're shooting. Now, I like to start with my feet slightly wider than shoulders. I stagger uh, one foot in front of the other. So as a right-handed shooter, I put my left forward slightly, my left foot slightly in front of my right, about heel to toe, step out, and that's pretty much where we go. Remember, your knees always need to be bent because as soon as you lock any joint, whether it be your knees or your elbows, you lose all strength and dexterity in them. And we want to be ready to run, ready to take off, so we're going to have our weight slightly down, knees bent, nose over toe. So if I were to tie it sideways, you can see that my nose is over my toe and I'm not here. One of the biggest things we want to avoid and the most common uh, mistake I see is feet in a direct line and what happens is our gun starts to get heavy and we start to lean back and back and back. So we're going to not do that, we're going to stagger our feet, widen them, weight forward. So now we have our foundation to shooting. Now we're going to work our way up to the arms. Our arms are pretty darn important when it comes to shooting. So this is what we're going to do first to figure out the exact placement they should be. We're going to take our hands, we're going to put them out in front of us, and we're going to push our palms together as hard as we can. Push, 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 and now we're going to start to bring our palms back to our chest, and we're going to stop here. What you'll notice right off the bat is where my elbows are. They're directly out to the sides. And now, if you did that with me, you'll notice that you have the most amount of strength right here. So why is it that when people pick up a pistol to shoot, we want to go, we want to extend our arms, which we automatically lose our strength and dexterity. We rotate our elbows under. So we just did the opposite of everything that we mechanically learned when we did this. So now we're going to take our understanding of the elbows and bringing our palms closer to our body and apply it to our gun. So when I'm shooting, my arms are never all the way outstretched. They're slightly bent and they look just like that. Not here, but here. Another tip is when you have your elbows out to the side, it can feel awkward, trust me. <laughs> when I first did it, I was like, what are these, like chicken wings, like I'm gonna fly away? No, but what it does is it, it moves your bone structure to help support recoil management. So if my elbow is under, I've created a giant lever that every time my gun goes off, recoil is going to naturally want to go up and now I have to fight that recoil with my muscles alone. Now if I just slightly rotate my elbows, my arm physically can't bend up. So my bone structure is helping with recoil management. It's a huge tip and something that is a bit uncomfortable when you first start, but I know if you put a little bit of time behind it, it'll make big improvements. Now we'll move on to actually putting a gun in our hand. I'm a right-handed shooter, so I'll demo that way. I'm gonna take my dominant hand, and no matter the gun that you're using, you're always going to want to grip it all the way up at the absolute top. Cause the lower you grab, the more of a lever this becomes and the harder it is to manage that recoil. So we grab it up as high as we possibly can with our dominant hand. And then with our support hand, I'm gonna show you a traditional grip and then my grip. Traditional grip, you have your hand in what I call the mitten and it goes right underneath the trigger guard and your thumbs will lay on top of each other, pointed directly downrange. 
The reason that we have our thumbs pointing directly downrange is one, it locks our actual wrist. So if I have my wrist here, it looks kind of the same, but totally different. I don't have the mechanical advantage of this joint like I do when I rotate it and I lock it. So we run that thumb directly downrange and that'll once again help with recoil management. Now that's a traditional grip. My grip applies the same idea and fundamentals, but the only thing is <laughs> I run two fingers in front of my trigger guard. Uh, if you're new to shooting, don't start off with this. Just start with your traditional grip, and then once you get comfortable with that completely, you can move on to trying uh, different styles of shooting and different styles of grip. But just because it's what I do, uh, I want you guys to know that it is a possibility and an option. One finger or two finger in front of the trigger guard is an alternative pistol grip. So we're gonna put that all together. Feet, toe to heel, at least shoulder width apart, nose forward, knees bent. I'm gonna grab my pistol all the way up at the very top with my dominant hand, support hand, is going to rotate to where my thumb points down range or at my target. It's gonna come up as high as possible without touching the slide. Elbows will extend, but not all the way, and they won't go under, but out. So when you're shooting, or when I'm shooting, this is what my pistol stance looks like.